Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call a lawyer, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teaches us to do. All right, following the example of the apostles and the elders, shalom to the very, 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 very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yahweh from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, and I'm basically coming back to you with another lesson. And this lesson is concerning, you know, the body and, you know, yourself. And when I say yourself, I'm speaking of myself first and foremost. All right, because that's the first person we rebuke, admonish, uh, correct is ourself, you know, and that's what this is going to. All right, are you feeding the flock? I'm gonna ask the question again as a prophet. You really have to wake up as a man of the Lord and one of the hopeful elect and ask yourself, are you feeding the flock? Are you feeding the flock? You know, Yahweh Shai told Peter, you know, he asked him, do we love him? And he asked him to feed his sheep. And we all know who Peter is. All right, the rock, the head of the church, the king of Israel, because he is Malak Dawat. All right, he is King David. But seeing this is the head of the church and seeing this is the man that's, that's after the Lord's own heart. If he questioned and asked him, you know, if he posed this to him, how much more than us? A servant is not greater than his master. The Lord was feeding the flock. King David was feeding the flock. He was a man after the Lord's own heart. Are you feeding the flock? All right? Because a lot of bullshit goes on in Israel. You know, a lot of niggas, you know, they can turn Israel to a rap battle or, or whatever the fuck they want to make it out to be. But <clears throat> whether you in Great Millstone or not, you know, you might have been a brother that fell out. Or, or that was kicked out or excommunicated. The Lord didn't give you this truth for you to lose, and you really got to keep that mind state. You have to feed the flock. Hey, the scriptures, wait, this madness go past. Hey, the scripture says um, in the book of James, let him that saveth the soul from, he said, let him know that he that saveth the soul from death, you know, covered the multitude of sins. We trying to atone for our sins, all right? We trying to feed the elect. And it's, and it's so much that comes with this ministry. All right, we building the tabernacle of David, man. All right, we're showing our people, we revealing the whole world. All right, the scripture told Jeremiah, he made him a prophet to the nations. All right, we're showing the whole world who Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is, all right, in the land bearing the faith. And what the scripture say, uh, that's been so long without fruit. I think that's a second entrance, man. If anybody, you know, this is just a walk and talk, you know. I'm quoting a lot of scriptures and referencing them in the best as I can, you know. Because this is just something, hey, as the apostle of the say, I'm uploading this raw. Because it's on my spirit, man. Now, you really feeding the flock, man. You got to get out here every day. And it's, like I said, with people, you know, they always asking me questions about working out. I say, man, don't, you know, beat yourself with it and be a robot. But you got to do as much as you can, as much as you can. Hey, the scriptures say, whatever thou find that thy soul to do, do it without thy might. And if the Lord chose you to do this work, you better do a mighty work, man, and know who you represent. You represent Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, the creator of heaven and earth, man. All right? The scriptures say in Jonah 2 and 8, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. The Lord has given us mercy, man. Everything in this fucking world is a lie, man. Feed his flock, do his work. His commandments are not grievous to us, man. Do the work, man. Do the work. Your weekly videos, what's most important is going out. Because then your body is a living sacrifice. Because a lot of people just see us on Saturdays, but they don't know what it takes to get there Saturday. Nigga be going out there, as, as my elder brother Capo say, man, headache, heartbreak. Should I say broke ache, back ache, all type of shit, man. But his feet on concrete to present his body as a living sacrifice. He's a real man. Even, that's even for the brother standing on the other side in sincerity, too. And still learning to come into this fold, man. Take heed to thyself and into the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. Which the Lord purchased with his own blood. That's Acts, what, 20 and 28? I write in the book of Acts and also go into the men that have hazarded their lives. Starting with the apostles and the elders on down. Who really put their feet on concrete and hazarded their lives, you know? Couldn't. We so infamous. We, we as men in this thing that could be fighters. 
bodybuilders, uh, 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 you know, famous people, whatever, lawyers, NBA people, NFL niggas. But we we so we infamous for this truth, so we ain't finna put that out there, man. We ain't finna live those lifestyles, man. We dropped what we was doing, just and, and, and followed the Lord, and we're gonna get a reward for that. Yahweh Rathas are, but you, we endure to the end. But you got to feed the flock, man. That is the most important thing, man. You know how it look? If you had a fucking babysitter, and you hired this babysitter, or a dog sitter, he don't fucking feed the dog for three weeks. You come in, and kids got shit in their diapers, throwing everything. That's horrible, man. You can't be that, man. You really have to be a shepherd to the flock, man, and a man of the Lord. So if you... Even if you know a couple scriptures, the beloved elder Malcolm in here in Chicago always tell people, you can drown somebody with milk. And that's how you build up. But look how many people don't understand what John 3.16 really mean. People don't understand Psalms 147, 19 to 20, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. That's heavy, but that's milk. And as you build up in the spirit, the Lord will show you as you grow and to help you feed the flock. Even if you just know a couple scriptures, man, because can't no doctrine in the world refute Deuteronomy 28. You will know, hey, you will know, not, to, ain't nobody, hey, look, the Lord, you have a shot, ain't gonna let you slip, man, if you're out there in sincerity. He gonna give you the words to say, man. We in that time. And he also said he give you a mouth of wisdom, which they will not be able to gain, say, nor resist. Feed the flock, man. And like I said, this message, this admonishment is to me first and foremost, too, because I fuck off, too, man. But I ain't finna let all this go, man, that the Lord has revealed to me, or I ain't finna take this for granted. The Lord let you know. You know, you can't hide your talent. You know, you got you to gotta bear fruit. He said, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify you. How about Shem shine, which is in heaven, brothers? And from the elder brothers, the apostles, the elders, the men that been over here 20, 30 years deep plus. They understand this. We all should understand this. That this is the only way out. The only way is to teach, man. The only way is to preach. The only way is to wake up. The only way to um, is to wake Jake up, man. You got to admonish, exhort. You know, we blowing the trumpet for you. How about Shem, how about Shai, man? The scriptures say, cry aloud, spare not. Do the work, man, and feed the flock, man. You know, I just wanted to drop something real quick in the morning, man. Hey, man, call aloud. How about Shem, how about Shai? By Shem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us the truth and did the work, man. And because they was out there feeding the flock, we was able to come into the fold and enter into their labors, man. Because they didn't put their fucking hands in their pockets, man. Get your fucking hands out your pockets, man, if your hands in your pockets, man. The Lord coming back, man. Call aloud, you how about Shem, how about Shabba, Shem, Rakakadash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Hey, and to the hopeful of that, I'll keep him out there and do it. Shalom.